Hi guys! Ang topic natin for today is about families of curves. So these are a set of curves, each of which is given by a function or parametrization in which one or more of the parameters is a variable. So kumbaga, equation siya na hindi lang nagre-represent ng isang curve kundi set of curves. Marami siyang nire-represent, kaya tinatawag na family. For example, we're given this equation, x squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared. This can be interpreted as the families of circles with centers on the y-axis. And ito yung kanyang figure. If you can notice, circles siya na iba't iba ang radius and merong center sa y-axis. So, nagbabago-bago yung location ng center with respect to the y-axis and iba't iba yung kanyang radius. So, if we treat k and r as the arbitrary constant and we eliminate it through differentiation, we can come up with a differential equation that is x y double prime minus quantity y prime cube minus y prime equals zero. So, gaya nung in-apply natin sa last topic, we can come up with a differential equation by the elimination of arbitrary constant. So, paano nga ba ginagawa to? Let's work out some problem on how we can do that. Our first problem is to find the differential equation of family of straight lines passing through the origin. Ang first step natin dito is to draw some representative members ng family. So let's say we have here our x and y axis. Then let's try to draw some straight lines na magpapas sa origin. First drawing natin itong straight line na to with a positive slope. Next, isang straight line na merong negative slope. And thirdly, meron tayong vertical line dito na nagpapas sa origin pero ang slope niya is undefined. And isa namang horizontal line na ang slope ay 0. So, ang common sa kanilang lahat is nagpapas sila dito sa origin with the coordinates na 0, 0. And ang difference ng lahat ng lines na to is iba-iba yung kanilang slope. So, given the slope and a point, paano ba natin isusulat yung equation ng isang line? So, let us recall the point-slope form. So, that is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, given yung point na 0, 0 and the slope na m, y minus 0 equals m times x minus 0. Simplify ng latin to, and this now represent the family of curve or family ng straight lines na nagpapas sa origin. Pero ang hinahanap for this problem is the differential equation. Given this equation, paano natin makukuha yung differential equation? From the previous topic, alam natin na kapag nag-differentiate tayo, may eliminate natin yung arbitrary constant and makakapag-come up tayo with a differential equation. So ang question, alin dito ngayon yung arbitrary constant? So kung alin yung iba-iba dito sa ating graph, Iyon yung ating arbitrary constant. So, ang nagbabago-bago dyan is etong slope or the value or the variable m. So, siya yung i-eliminate natin. So, meron tayong isang arbitrary constant. So, magdi-differentiate lang tayo once. Derivative ng left side is y prime. Derivative ng nasa right side. So, constant na m. Multiplied by the derivative of x. That is 1. Simplify natin ulit. So, we'll have y prime equals m. Nakapag-differentiate na tayo once, pero nandito pa rin yung arbitrary constant natin na m. So, di na tayo pwedeng mag-differentiate. Instead, nagamit tayo ng algebraic solution to eliminate m. So, ano pwede natin gawin? So, consider natin to and this equation. Notice na pwede natin ipalit si m as y prime dito sa equation na to. So, we'll have y equals y prime times x. Write lang natin as y equals xy prime. So, etong equation na to is the differential equation representing the family of straight lines passing through the origin. Second problem, find the differential equation of family of circles with center at the origin. Again, let's draw some representative circles na merong center sa origin. So, given the x and y axis, so, let's draw some circles. 
So, ito yung ating unang circle. Ito yung second. And ito yung ating third. So, as you can notice, lahat sila merong center at the origin. And ano yung pabago-bago or iba-iba sa kanila. So, yung nagbabago-bago is yung kanilang radius. So, ito yung radius ng una. Ito yung radius ng pangalawa. And ito yung radius ng pangatlo. So, recall natin yung formula para maisulat natin yung equation ng isang circle. So, x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r squared. So, yung center, yun yung h k and yung radius, yun yung r. So, yung center nitong ating circles ay nasa 0, 0. So, palitan lang natin yung h and k dun sa equation and si r, sulat lang natin siya as r x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to r squared simplify lang natin to and we'll have x squared plus y squared equals r squared so ito yung ating expression for all the circles na merong center sa origin. Ang kailangan natin is the differential equation. So, kailangan natin i-eliminate yung arbitrary constant sa equation na to. So, ano ba yung nagbabago-bago dun sa circles natin? So, notice na yun yung radius. So, ang arbitrary constant natin for this equation is the radius. So, meron tayong isang arbitrary constant. Magdi-differentiate tayo once. So, derivative ng x squared is 2x dx Derivative ng y squared is 2y dy. And ang derivative ng r squared, so yan ay constant, kaya siya ay 0. So, simplify na lang natin ito. Nakapag-differentiate na tayo once. And eliminate natin yung arbitrary constant. So, we can divide the whole equation by 2. And we'll get x dx plus y dy equal 0. So, itong differential equation na to, nire-represent niya lahat ng circle na may center sa origin. Yun lang! Galingan nyo lagi. And huwag kakalimutang mag-like and subscribe sa Math 101. Bye!